Hello and welcome to AJ Storytime channel for kids. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you receive the notifications of when I'm reading live. Happy Memorial Day! We are going to celebrate our Memorial Day this May and that's why I'm going to start reading some amazing books about Memorial Day. If you don't know what Memorial Day is, then you are going to learn today. So if you're ready, let's get started. Our first book is called Holidays. Memorial Day. Memorial Day honors the men and women of the American Army, Navy, Coast Guard, Air Force, and Marines who died while serving their country. Memorial Day is a national holiday in the United States. It is celebrated on either May 30th or the 31st. Memorial Day began as a holiday to remember the American soldiers who died in the Civil War of 1861 to 1865. As more wars were fought, it became a day for Americans to honor and remember the dead from all wars. The first memorial Hundreds of thousands of Americans lost family members and friends in the Civil War. The war fought met between the northern and southern states. After the war ended, people wanted a special way to remember the brave soldiers who died. On May 5, 1866, the village of Waterloo, New York, held a ceremony to honor their Civil War dead. 100 years later, the U.S. Congress officially named Waterloo as the birthplace of the Memorial Day holiday. Decoration Day After the Civil War, former Northern soldiers founded a veterans organization called the Grand Army of the Republic, GAR. Members of the GAR held a special ceremony on May 30, 1868 to decorate the graves of Northern soldiers. The ceremonies were repeated each year and the day became known as Decoration Day. The official name was changed to Memorial Day in 1882. Celebrations in the South Because Memorial Day began as a holiday to remember Northern soldiers, several Southern states would still celebrate their own Memorial Days. They honor the soldiers who died fighting for the South, which have formed the Confederate States of America during the Civil War. In Virginia, for example, the last Monday in May is Confederate Memorial Day. This is celebrates Confederate Heroes Day on January 19. And here you can see some of the pictures of soldiers that have died in the past. And this is to honor them and right over here. Gettysburg National Military Park. One of the worst battles of the Civil War was fought at Gettysburg, Pennsylvania in 1863. Thousands of brave men from the North and the South died during the terrible fighting. President Abraham Lincoln made part of the battlefield a cemetery. Today, the site is Gettysburg National Military Park. Each Memorial Day, ceremonies at Gettysburg honor the brave soldiers of long ago. Arlington National Cemetery Arlington National Cemetery in Arlington, Virginia, is the final resting place for thousands of American soldiers. An American soldier from each of four wars, World War I or World War II, the Korean War and the Vietnam War, is buried in Arlington's tombs of the unknowns. They are soldiers who were never identified and remain known by to God. Each Memorial Day, a ceremony is held at the tomb of the unknown. And an honor guard of the American soldier places a wreck on the tomb and a book sounds the clear sad notes of taps. Remembering America takes time out on Memorial Day to honor the memory and sacrifice of its dead heroes. 
Do you know how many Americans have died in battle since the Civil War? Over 115,000 American soldiers died in Europe during World War I, and more than 400,000 Americans died in World War II, which was fought in many parts of the world, including the Aleutian Island of Alaska. Together, the Korean War 1950-1953 and the Vietnam War 1965-1973 took the lives of more than 100,000 American soldiers. How are you going to celebrate this day? Celebrating Memorial Day. Many special Memorial Day programs help living Americans remember those who died in war. Towns and cities throughout the United States hold parades with marching bands, veterans, and soldiers. Americans decorate veterans' graves with reds, flowers, and flags. On Memorial Day, with ceremony and prayerful silence, America honors the brave veterans in lost battle. I hope that you celebrate Memorial Day, but this time you will celebrate it thinking about what happened during this uh, World War I, World War II, and all these different wars that they fought to die for the United States. So feel proud of being a United States American, a son, a citizen of the U.S. Because that's what we need to be happy for everyone that feel proud of being an American, that don't care about giving up their life and going to fire war for us so we can have a free country. So please remember to celebrate Memorial Day thinking about all the past soldiers that died. I have a book recommendation for you. This one is called American Holidays, Holiday Memorial Day. Read this book also so you can learn more about Memorial Day and then you can talk to people and tell them why you are so proud to be an American citizen or an American uh, immigrant because many people come to the United States to live here so they can be free. And please don't forget to subscribe. Happy Memorial Day. Goodbye.